Football in Paris isn't just the Parc de Prince, money, Neymar. <laughs> but instead, in the northern suburbs, lies a club deep with history. <laughs> and most PSG have the big titles and the big signings. Nothing can even possibly compare to this. <laughs> Ask anyone to describe you the city of Paris. They'll tell you about the Eiffel Tower, the Champs Elysees. See, the city is best known for its glitz and its glamour, and the same can really be said about its football. PSG often grab all the headlines of their sensational signings and domestic dominance. However, much like the revolutionary past of Paris, it's the club that's most in touch with this history that is often forgotten about. Red Star FC, the oldest club in Paris, much like the city itself, are synonymous with revolution. In World War II, a player called Rino de la Negra, a former player of Red Star, was executed by the Nazis and in his parting letter to his brother said, hello, goodbye to Red Star. And to this day, the fans of the club are overtly anti-fascist and very left-wing. Red Star fans are known generally as left-wing, um, very engage in social uh, fights. For example, this year we had a demonstration for migrants and so we have a big TIFO for them. We, um, the fans and the club actually invited about 60 migrants to come and watch the game. Uh, now we are in also um, lots of fans which are uh, supporting the strike of the railway. Uh, so it's always been left-wing without being, uh, it's not a left-wing club, but the um, Tribune Rino de la Negra has always been that oriented. Of course, this is like really, really, uh, we'll say far left in the politics, but um, the club uh, staff, the club direction, we don't speak about politics because okay. the club is uh, what we call a social mix. You have different social status, you know, it's not a club for rich people, it's not a club for poor, it's not a club for hipster, or it's not a club for boho. We are a club, we are a club for everyone. So we don't have um, like a ideal supporter. We don't think like this. So the club stays very true to the value set out by Jules Ramey and Ernest Weber when the club was founded back in 1897 about always serving the local community. Since the earliest days of the club, Red Star have been a team that really prides itself on bringing through local talent through their academy. Now one of the earliest graduates from the academy was Paul Nicolas, one of the earliest founders of the LFP and players like Abu Dhabi and Musa Sissoko have also passed through the club. Maybe the icing of the cake of all the projects we do at the club. It's called the Red Star Lab, and it's all the use of the club. They, are, uh, they have the right to do some uh, workshop during the summer holiday, where they have like uh, different workshop um, each holiday. So the first one we did this season was uh, how to make a fanzine. So instead of having professional doing the fanzine, we, I brought some friends that are into fashion magazine, into photography and stuff, and they, they, they help the kids of the club building the magazine themselves. And then after we sold the magazine in the stadium, and then we didn't sell it with a, a price. It was up to the, the supporters to give a little coins of money to the kids. And then with the money, we invest in all the projects. So that was the first thing we did, it was really beautiful. So we always do very good projects, and we actually won the social award this year in our league because of the things we do with the kids. So that's a really, uh, we are very proud of that because this is really deep work. But to really educate the kids through culture because we are a football club, that is really a uh, that is really a, a winner for us. So the Red Star Lab not only helps players on the pitch, but something that clubs the world over fail to do is prepare them for life outside of football. At the Stad Bauer, they teach their kids skills that they can use to forge other careers outside of football, should they not make it. But this is by no means the only thing that sets Red Star FC apart from not only just clubs in France, but the whole world. Uh, 
since coming in as president in 2008, Patrice Haddad has really sought about building on the history of Red Star, but has also brought in David Belly on a former Manchester United, Sunderland and Red Star FC player as a creative director to bridge the gap between football and art. What the president has managed to do is to put in charge some ex-players you know, some old players, and it's really a family. I mean, Steve Marley, David Bellion, Adad, you know, it's, you can see that they really feel for the club. And this is important for the fan, knowing that the people who direct the club actually feel for it, you know. My goal is to uh, build bridges between football and culture in, in a large sense. So culture can touch uh, photography, can touch art, can touch uh, music, fashion, food culture, whatever makes sense with the club. Um, then we can maybe start discuss, start discussing and then making projects that uh, made the, the Red Star not only a club of football but also a club of culture. This along with their recent sponsorship with Vice is really propelling this traditional old club into the 21st century and promotion back to Ligue 2 is also going to force some more modernisation at the club. Stand Bauer has been Red Star's spiritual home since 1909. However, the last time they played in Ligue 2 due to LFP regulations, they had to move away and had to play next to the PSG Stadium near the Parc de France. So the fans of the club have a really strong affinity to the ground. Now, President Patrice Haddad had these plans to rebuild a 200 million euro stadium, but the fans, they flat out rejected that, saying that the ground is basically the soul of the club. However, with promotion to Ligue 2 confirmed for next season, they will have to play away from the Stade Bauer. So we already had this experience two years ago. We had to move. And then we were really grateful that the supporters also came and... Uh, trying to watch the game when they could, when we had to be relocated. The fan went there to support the team, but there was, you know, no happiness really in there. And in fact, when we went down, uh, we were not very happy, sportively speaking. But I can tell you that 95% of the fans were so happy to get down, to get uh, lower to, uh, division, because our stadium was allowed for third division. I think the, the club, the team, and the stadium and the supporters, those four elements make one. So, of course, when there's one that is out, well, you need to adapt in your mind and trying to look at the bright side of life and then just say, OK, it's a problem, let's find a solution. Now, the president decided to... Um, I think he realized that really Red Star is really in board and he's going to do his utmost that we can come back to war once it's redone. Uh, the problem is that they have to redo it completely, which is going to take a uh, minimum three years. So we know that for the next three years we will not be in war, but we have the hope that for 2023 we will be back there. But would it not be unambitious to not want promotion in order to just stay at a ground, or is it simply an old traditional club sticking to the roots that they've grown from? Well, with third division promotion already confirmed in what could possibly be the last game at the Stad Bauer for a while, Red Star can confirm the title, and it's the hottest ticket in town.
Red Star promoted to Ligue 2 after an amazing history that hopefully can only get better and better and whilst it might be their last game for a while in this place if you look at it from a promotion point of view hopefully it will be the last game but from a love and tradition point of view you hope it really isn't but the Red Star fans are absolutely loving this they're back to Ligue 2 and hopefully Ligue 1 where they can play against PSG and show that there is more than one team in Paris so if you like this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't already but you've got to do an Allez Red Star